So we're going to cover a lot of bases today. Let me jump right in. Politics, I believe, is the art of inspiring people. And I think too often we forget that. We've got to bring the next generation back into politics because largely they are falling through the cracks. So I'm going to talk about three things. Framing the debate, how we can use technology better to do it, and also what sorts of things we need to do to build our community better. By the way, this was an outstanding picture here on the left that didn't download with the technology. <laughs> it was actually me uh, on the hustings as we beat Prop 85 right here in California. I tell you, it will not come back again. Anytime soon. <laughs> At least a year or two. So I'm going to talk about three things. First, framing the debate. You know a little bit about this, but we've got to make sure we connect and make an impact. Let me just draw on some of my experience. So when I worked at eBay, we all sat around in the early days and said, well, what exactly do we tell people we are? And folks, let me tell you, the answer was not that we were an online flea market. <laughs> so, let's talk a little bit about telling your story. We need to think about how we reformulate that message so it's a winner not just in the blue states, but it's a winner in the red states. We need to reformulate our thinking. One of the rising stars in the Democratic Party, Barack Obama, come out. And he said, you know what? I'm going to head right down to Orange County. And we thought, whoa, 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 Senator, we, we need to fill you in on a few things in California. <laughs> Orange County, not our territory. <laughs> but he said, no, I'm going to Orange County. And what's more, I'm going to go to Rick Warren's Saddleback Evangelical Church. Most Democrats sidestep that one. <laughs> the punchline of the story, Barack Obama walks in there, explains that, in fact, he is pro-gay rights, pro-choice, and manages to walk out with a standing ovation because of his command of how our values, family values, providing access and appropriate health care to women and families are in fact Judeo-Christian values. Let's talk a little bit about technology. I used to work at this firm, as I mentioned, called eBay, and I, frankly, I have to say, I had this promising career. I was on the faculty at Stanford, and I told people I was going to be giving all this up to go off and work for this online flea market. And people said, Steve, we're so sorry. And within four years, I was giving it a speech, a group very much like this, maybe a thousand people, Washington, D.C., and a man came up to me afterwards, and he said, Steve, I am so glad to finally meet our largest customer. And I said, well, that, that's terrific. Um, great to meet you. And, and tell me again, who, who, are, who are you? And he said, well, my name is uh, Runyon. I'm the Postmaster General of the United States. <laughs> uh, he wasn't kidding. These same things are happening now. And the challenge is, are we all thinking in a way where we can utilize the new technologies that are changing our world? It is time to take this to a whole new level. eBay pioneered something people said couldn't happen. When I went to Wall Street and I said, well, you know, look, we have these ideas. We're going to be doing, uh, you know, a billion dollars a year soon. And they were saying, well, where's the warehouse? We said, well, there actually is no warehouse. We don't have anything to sell. It was unimaginable. My friends, you were about to do the same thing. MySpace has taken this to a whole new level. Amazingly, there are rock and roll bands literally out of garages that are now hitting the charts without a record label. This is what the next generation is watching. If you're not there, you're not reaching them. Blogging. Folks, I love newspapers. I love them. I subscribe to a bunch. I like holding them and feeling them. I'm an old guy. <laughs> you need to be on the blogs. 
I did a crappy campaign video of me in a bus going from Bakersfield to Fresno and got 6,663 views. Go get them, and if your son or daughter actually produces it, hey, I won't tell. <laughs> to them any longer. Our job is to find creative ways to connect them to each other. It's up to you to go out and create it, to help the next generation of women have access to basic health care that they deserve. It's time we use technology to create that new future for our children. Thank you for letting me know.